Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ron Moore, and it's been a while since I posted a video on my Viddler account um, regarding, well, well, it's not really about SD2K, but you know, it's the My Two Cents video, whatever you want to call it, uh, if you call it a video with all these still pictures. Um, just the last, I think the last video I posted, I think it was the SD2K show, I'm not sure, but the last My Two Cents the video I think I posted was at the beginning of the semester, uh, my summer semester here at school, and it was talking about, I guess, what I got to look forward to, and it, not look forward to, cause I, <laughs> but I'll get to that in a minute, but um, stuff that I was expecting to go through this semester, um, and it has been a brutal semester nonetheless, but I will graduate August 15th. You're probably saying, well, how do you know you're going to graduate yet? Uh, the semester's not over. It's called faith and keep staying positive, <laughs> you know. So, but I know I honestly, deep down, do feel that I'm going to graduate. Um, I got this one class, the portfolio client class. Uh, our last day in that class is August 1st when we do our presentation. The last day of the semester is August 15th, which is the same day as graduation, and the rest of our, the I think the last day in class or for my assignments to be finished because I have an online classes as well, is August 13th and 14th, and I want to get it done a few days before that so that I can just concentrate on graduation. I got my cap and gown. You know, I'm ready to walk the stage. Uh, I want to invite everybody. Those of you uh, uh, who are in Waco, listen to this. Angel, uh, Lil E, whoever else is active on this 2 k from Waco, that's probably it, just y'all two. Uh, the Unknown, shut up. Uh... Whoever's listening to this, where maybe three people are, um, you're all invited to my graduation at the Waco Convention Center. Uh, some of you already know this, but I'm just saying it anyway again, just to ramble on, because that's all I do is ramble. Um, Waco Convention Center, Friday, August 15th, 6 p.m. I gotta be there at five, so that because we all gotta be there at five. The people that's graduating, so we can line up in the proper order, whatever, blah blah blah. I'm gonna be there at four. Make sure I'm there on time and make sure everything's right because it's a big day I'm off work uh, I'm going to finally get the heck out of this college I mean I just can't wait and so that's what I've been doing all summer um, in my free time I, I, I kind of taken breaks from ST2K and my other track groups that I'm in and in my free time I've been working on a lot of video game projects on YouTube and so and I, I don't have time to get raving over here every week to do the S2K shows uh, that's why the show is on hiatus because in my free time I can just uh, I still do videos but not the S2K show because he has to come over here we have to kind of do this and plan out a little bit and record video game footage and I, I don't have time for all that I just have time for the reviews I've been doing and the low budget reviews on YouTube have mainly been done with me and Swindoll because he lives close to me and uh, he can just come over to the next building and well Venom and Angel can't really, uh, you know, every Sunday I used to host video game ca or Street Fighter casuals where we just sit around and play Street Fighter all the time, but I've had to use Sunday nights to uh, catch up on homework. I mean, I, I've taken five classes, and one of them is take, taking up too much time, and then even after August 1st, I got to worry about making my portfolio and my portfolio assignment, and if I fail that, then I fail, pretty much fail the whole course. So this so much pressure and so much little uh, so little time to do all these classes and it's been one rough brutal semester I mean you guys have no idea but it will be worth it when I walk that stage August 15th it will be worth every second of it and um, after that I mean not everybody uses their degree when they graduate I'm not saying I'm gonna throw my degree aside and let it collect dust but you know I do try and want to want to get into web design the web design business even though I'm going to graduate people that don't mean that I'm 100% uh, ready for the real world because this web design stuff unless you're a natural talent or you have all the time in the world to practice on it and the money and to get the software uh, and no I don't want to get all this stuff illegally um, I mean I just don't have the time or the money to practice this web stuff as much as people think I should I got one hardcore teacher who thinks everybody should be a web a true web design master when they graduate that's not the case 
lots of people graduate and don't remember a lot of stuff that they learned. You know, if they do, then they're natural talents. And this same teacher told me, you know, they're not natural, Mr. Green. They, uh, they practice this stuff a lot. Um, there are natural talents in this world in different uh, diversities of, of stuff to do. Sports, web design, computer maintenance, whatever. There's people that are naturals. They don't have to try as hard as others. I'm not one of those naturals. I'm not an overachiever. Um, that same teacher contradicted himself by telling people, basically, if you don't have any talent, you might as well quit now. Yet, he just said, nobody's naturally talented. They were good at this by practicing. So he contradicted himself right there. And it's it's a rough semester. School is all about politics a little bit, and uh, uh, or college mainly. Jumping through hoops because I don't care what anybody says. Not everybody has to take these excess classes. You know, like, you know... Let's say your major is a diesel mechanic. I go to Texas State Technical College. You know, there's a welding degree, air conditioning maintenance degree, uh, diesel engine mechanic de degree, whatever, automotive degree. Okay? You, you know, let's say diesel mechanic. Okay? You're going to be working on a diesel engine or fixing this and that, whatever. Okay? Yet, to get a degree in that, one of the classes that you have to take is humanities. Yeah, no, nah, you heard right. Humanities. How is humanities going to help you fix a diesel engine or other diesel parts as a diesel mechanic? I mean, you know, I had one student who was a diesel mechanic in my class, and he was like, you know, what am I taking this class for? I mean, I, it's not like I'm going to be sitting there with a wrench fixing a diesel engine and say, oh, yeah, that, that poem from Aristotle is really helping me fix this diesel engine much better. You know, or or let's say I'm a I'm the owner of the uh, of a diesel mechanic company. You know, I'm hiring some new people to come. We need some new people to come in. This guy gives me an impressive resume. He's done it for 20 years. He has a good reputation. He's honest. You know, blah blah blah. He has all the qualifications in the world to be a diesel mechanic. So I'm, you know, what am I going to do? Am I going to sit there and say, hmm? Well, you are qualified. You've been doing this 20 years, and, and you have a good reputation. Oh, but wait, I'm sorry. Uh, it says here you never took humanities, so you don't know any of Aristotle's poems or anything about Harajuku poems. I'm sorry, I can't hire you. You have to know that before I can make you a diesel mechanic. <laughs> it's stupid, okay? Here are the classes outside of your major, so to speak, that you need to take. English, okay? Yes, you do need English and technical writing. you got to learn how to write well, okay? you got to learn how to write well. Um, psychology, mm, that's borderline right there. I don't think you really need it, but I can see why people would think you need psychology class. I guess to help you think better under pressure and at your job. I don't know, something like that. It, it, it ain't, I don't know, it's not really benefiting me. I didn't really learn much in that class, you know. I mean, I do the work, I work hard, I apply myself. That, But to retain the knowledge you learn is another thing. School is not about how smart you are. It measures how you apply yourself. You know, so I mean, th there you go. And, and my school taught me that in this college orientation class that we had to take when we we're new students. You know, they said, Intelli school does not measure your intelligence, it measures how you apply yourself. And I'm sorry, I don't care what you or anybody else thinks. We don't need classes like humanities, uh, for crying out loud, to, to get through. Uh, to, it depends on your major. Now, if you got, I mean, you know what I mean? The, those classes that you don't need. Math, math is essential to everything you need. I mean, everything you do in life. But, in my case, a web designer, we don't need all these complicated math formulas. Oh, what's the octal of 9 degrees Fahrenheit plus open parentheses, 9 times 5 close parentheses Fahrenheit degree? What the heck is that? What the, what the heck is an octal? I don't need all that complicated stuff in web design. In mean, web design, if you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and you can count money, and you're not an idiot, I mean, then you're fine. I mean, I know there might some, be some people out there that are mentally retarded, and I'm not making fun. I'm saying there are really people out there that are mentally challenged, probably can't think of, of math that way. But you know what I'm talking about. If you're a normal, functioning person, you know, and you know basic math, you'll be fine in web and, and web design and development. 
I don't care what anybody says. And I'm, it really boils my blood to hear fellow students tell me, I've been told, well, yeah, you do need humanities. Uh, what if you're going to make a website for uh, a Japanese guy? You got to know about the Japanese culture. Um, no, I don't. Number one, who says I'm going to make a Japanese website? I don't know Japanese. I don't feel like I have to take a whole class and learn about the culture. Number two, they are supposed to tell me what they want on their website. Okay? They need to give me the text that they want me to put on the website. I shouldn't have to learn about Japanese culture, for crying out loud. That's like saying, that's like going to driver's ed, and and uh, while you're learning how to drive, you also got to learn how to fix a car and become a master mechanic, too. No, you just there to learn how to drive. That don't mean you have to learn how to fix a car, either. I mean, it'd be nice to know that, but, you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. It's stupid, okay? And college is all about jumping through hoops, I guess, just to see if we can handle the pressure in the real world, which I think is a bunch of manure. It's just ridiculous, and it's time time wasting. Um, you know, I mean, let's see, so psychology, eh? No, I don't think you really need it. English, technical writing, you do need it. Um, reading, you need you need reading class. You know, if you got to take remedial, it's fine. You got to learn how to read properly. Uh, writing, you got to learn how to write. You know, you mind, what's the difference between English and writing? English is proper grammar. Writing is kind of the same thing, but different. I can't really explain it. You don't need humanities for sure. And guess what I'm taking this semester? And I'm a I'm a web design major, biology. <laughs> You're probably thinking you gotta be joking. No, I'm not. I'm taking biology. But there's a reason for that. Um, I chose to take that class, and why? Because it was a substitute for math. I don't need. I don't think you don't need math and web design. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, that's not opinion. That's a fact. <laughs> um, but I substituted biology. Uh, substituted math for biology or whatever um, because I'm not good at math I don't care to learn all about that ridiculous math stuff I'm not going to need when I graduate um, so biology is a substitute yeah go figure but I'm doing much better in biology than I would be doing in math right now college math which is the last thing I'm supposed to take either that or biology I chose biology um, now math class if you're going to take math okay I mean if you're, if you're going to be a banker, I guess. Uh, if you're going to be in, uh, what do you call it, an economic, or <laughs> if you're going to go into economics, uh, or if you're going to be a math teacher, or if you're going to be an accountant, well, yeah, you need to learn all the math skills. You know, I can see that, of course, but not for web design. Come on. I mean, yeah, I know, I, there's a lot of stuff I don't remember that, that I learned, which is why I keep all my books and I'm going to brush up on them, but brush up on my skills. But I would have remembered using advanced math stuff. Okay, we didn't use advanced math stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, if you're going to be an engineer, I think, or or a construction worker, you got to know math or ge geometry, you know, whatever. You got to know that if you're going to be one of those things. But in my case, no. And in college is just one of those things, you know. You're taking these classes you don't need. Um, it's a waste of time. But it would be all worth it in the end, because I would graduate. I'm going to graduate August 15th. And if you're in the vicinity of the area, you know, come see me walk the stage and whatever. Um, so I'll just be glad when this semester's over. It has been, been one hard, brutal semester. And it's about to be all over. So there you go. Um, before I close out, um, the S2K show um, might be back in August or September. The next show I plan on doing is the Mega Man X review with me and Raven. And also, keep in mind, I'm doing other v YouTube video projects as well. When I graduate high school, oh, high school, what the heck. When I graduate college, I think I will definitely have much more free time, hopefully. It depends on what job I get uh, or wherever. I'm trying to work at GameStop here because I really want to have some sort of have some sort of career in video games. If I can't get game testing right now, at least work in a store around video games. Something that I know and have a passion for. So I might get out of the restaurant business totally, or I might still work there as a second job while making websites from home, or I might have to relocate out of town and work for a big company and be their webmaster. I don't know right now. I don't know what's going to happen. All I want to concentrate on is graduating. Then, after that weekend, after I enjoy the buzz of graduating, uh, I will definitely go out and start looking for a job.
Okay, I'm not one of those students that has to be stressed out right now. So oh, I gotta find a job when I graduate. I, I'm hey, you know, as long as I can make a living, I got a job at Chili's. You know, I'm gonna be fine. I'm, I trust in God; He's gonna take care of me. You know, just keep praying to Him, and I didn't get this far. I couldn't have got this far without Him. So, and believe me, I wouldn't be graduating without Him. I tell you that because I needed all the power of God in the world to get me through this semester. And if you think I'm joking, you, you, uh, what's, what's the old saying goes? Spend the whole semester in my shoes, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you're in college, you probably already know what I'm talking about. Unless you're overachiever, then it's much easier for you. Uh, but, and I, I don't mean to sound like a hater, but I'm serious. If you're overachiever, college ain't that hard to you. You know, because you're so smart and everything and whatever. But, hey, I'm not a total idiot, but I'm not the smartest person in the world. I'm not an overachiever. So, I, but I'm good at working hard. Uh, not to be sound, not to sound cocky, but that's all I know how to do is just work hard and try. And that's how I got this far. And that's about to be all over. Thank God. August 15th. So after that, I'll probably get more active on the forums again. Post more S2K shows with Raven or whoever else wants to join. And so there you go. That's all I have to say this time. Uh, I thought I'd give, give you all an update. For those of you who do not keep track of me on YouTube, um, let you all know what I've been up to lately. And uh, so there you go. Well, I'm out of here. Y'all take care. This is Ron Moore. God bless. Y'all take care.